Hey, everybody. Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Today, I want to talk about the Steelers defensive line of focus. Many of my uh, previous videos on the Steelers offensive line, I want to switch sides of the ball to the defensive trenches. Been really impressed by third round rookie DeMarvin Leal as a pass rusher, keeping his quickness despite adding weight to play in the Steelers system and scheme. This guy's got a lot of rush moves in his arsenal, in his tool belt, and I want to quickly, I'm going to focus on brevity here in this video. So we're going to try to keep this short, uh, you and me, to talk about all the ways in which DeMarvin Leal has won as a pass rusher during the preseason. First clip comes in week one against Seattle, Leal, the three tech here. We're going to look at a cross chop or chop club against the right guard number 60 and essentially taking that inside hand of Leal to pin the outside arm of the blocker of the right guard and then swimming or, and clubbing over top. So here's the cross chop there with a club and then swimming again with that inside hand over the top of the right guard. Bend in corner, just could not finish here on Geno Smith and unfortunately Smith Gets a couple yards out of this one, but again, like the technique, like the rush here, the initial cross chop with the club, and then swim over to try to pull through. Nice job here to show that ankle flexion to corner. Again, you want to see him finish there. Um, that's always going to be critical and key, but for a, a first debut for the Marvin Leal, uh, really to see this cross chop, pretty advanced stuff. Taking a look at the following week against Jacksonville Leal right here again as a three tech. We're going to again see the cross chop, but we're going to see him really rip through more to finish. Last time it was the, the club and the swim over the top. Now we're going to see the cross chop to a rip here against number 70, the right guard. So the cross chop here again, trying to pin that outside arm of the right guard and then ripping through with that right hand. And Leal does so successfully in here. He turns the corner again, but finishes the play and gets the sack on the quarterback. So quick look from the aerial view, and you can see him really bend this edge. And again, Leal played about 280 at Texas A&M last year, more of a tweener. And again, he's been now up to about 300 pounds. Watch him be able to bend and turn that edge right there to be able to rip through contact. And then importantly, the most crucial aspect of, of it all, to finish with the sack. So cross chop to the rip and the sack. One last look and we'll move on to the next play. And I mean next play literally and figuratively as this is the very next play of this Jacksonville game. And so the right guard just got beat to the outside there on that uh, rip move. And so I think he's setting outside a little bit wide here initially, and Leal with a great counter, a great pass rush plan. Okay, just one outside. Now I'm going to spin to the inside and win cleanly here as the center is sliding away. So good high-level rush here from DeMarvin Leal. So again, the, the, the rush before, we're going to go to the outside, hit this B-gap. Next one, I'm going to come inside here on the inside spin, dust that right guard, has that kind of ice pick that Mike Tomlin's talked about, using that left arm to basically almost box out the right guard so he can't really recover. He stays behind Leal and gets the pressure, forces the ball to come out and the incompletion. So one last look. Again, great pass rush plan, being able to string and set up different moves and a really high executed spin against this right guard. Steelers running a stunt here in the Week 3 finale against Detroit. Leal and Derek Tuska. Leal becomes the looper and the contain guy on this play. And just good contain overall on the quarterback. And you see him be able to uh, use that foot speed, that athleticism to close the, the gap as the quarterback tries to scramble here. So Leal, the looper, he now becomes the contain guy. Tuska, the crasher, trying to get penetration to the inside here. Leal able to keep contain as the quarterback tries to leave the pocket, and good closing speed by Leal to get hands on the quarterback, force that pass out, and it is incomplete. So, again, they're not always in terms of rush moves, but good contain work here overall, good pressure, and I just like seeing the athleticism, the foot speed, the closing speed to uh, really apply good pressure on the quarterback and help force this incompletion. Last clip of the video, Leal as the three tech, and he's going to eventually rip through the center who comes sliding over as the right guard helps out the right tackle. So maybe a little messy of a rip move, not knowing, you know, how the slide was going to go. And, and it's a little bit of a free lane here by Leal, but you're going to see him be able to quickly adjust here um, once the center comes over to basically rip through. And I like the finish here, getting his hands up in the air, 
uh, does not bat this pass down, but I like the attention to detail, the effort, knowing this ball may come out quick with the pressure that Leal is applying. Steelers defensive line batted down six passes collectively this preseason. Leal had one of them, and so there's certainly been a heavy focus. Kim Hayward was a volleyball player last year batting passes down. Isaiah Loudermilk's done a good job of uh, picking up on some of that stuff, and I like what I've seen from DeMarvin Leal just doing those little things. I'm not going to get to the quarterback. I'm going to try to impact the, the uh, passing lane and try to bat a pass down. So overall, you're seeing a ton of different moves, the varieties with this cross chop, the spin, um, good contain work, rip move, um, all of those kinds of things. Leal has a lot of different rush moves that he can use. The, the goal is to kind of focus on what works best for him and, and not have eight different moves, but really you know one go-to move, a counter, and probably a third in there. But certainly, you like the athleticism, the pass rush plan, the football IQ that I'm seeing when he uses outside moves and then counters with the inside spin like we saw against Jacksonville. So really good place for Leal to start. Run defense will be key for him going forward, but I like him maintaining speed and quickness and athleticism as he's bulked up to play in Pittsburgh system. So eight pressures overall in his first preseason across three games, leading all Steelers defensive linemen. Really good summer for Steelers third-round rookie DeMarvin Leal. So that will do it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. If you could like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. I have a video coming up on Kenny Pickett. I think you guys will be interested in checking out. So again, appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you soon.